many heifers do you think I can cram in that thing? What if they don't go to bed, man? We party. Sure. Of course it had a roof at one time. Now it's a convertible. I'm yeah, not a body guy. That's not even a mechanic. That's like an artist. Don't worry. It's in good hands. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 13 of the shit show. We've got Dennis and Robert here and uh, it's Robert's Whiskey Podcast. Woo! You gonna drink that whole bottle before the night's end or what? Why do you have me in a fucking podcast again with this guy? You guys all gotta get along, man. We got, we gotta like each other here. It's it's us right now. I'm pretty buzzed actually already. Because <laughs> I've already had a 12 case before I got here, so or just about anyways. That's okay. Man, yeah, you're even harder than some of the exes, man. You know, you just give me a hard time. I like it. You know, straight to the face. <laughs> So we uh, went and picked up a new ship box. You weren't there. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Where the fuck were you? Just fucking life sometimes, man. Yeah, but you I were apologize. You hassling me about last podcast when I said, "Oh, life." That's you why I wasn't months. here. Oh, well, what? Whatever, you Whatever, man. What, Anyways, you have? two days, Dennis. You know, I'd say three days. Three yeah, days? Exactly. Yeah. We've got a new van. New fucking van, buddy. The yeah. candy van. The backyard Broncos candy, candy van. van, buddy. Candy van. <laughs> fucking right. It's the granny oh, slayer you, van, buddy. You you missed it, buddy. It, it did a pretty pretty wicked burnout. Thing cooks tires. <laughs> buddy was like, no, no, this thing won't <laughs> drive home, fuck. See his boots and his he had his hood on and he was fucking ready to slay, man. Oh, fuck. Slay them grannies. He liked the fat chicks, though. Oh, he loved the fat girls. <laughs> He loved the heifers. He was all about it. You fucking, man, you missed it. You it was missed, fucking hilarious. You missed a good day, buddy. I missed a good day. I missed a good guy. <laughs> you gotta you gotta step it up. You know, fuck, if you want to continue being around, fuck, man. You, you gotta fucking drink well, some of that Well, at least I'm not calling in sick for fucking two days. Well. Huh. Bro, you've been fucking for weeks. <laughs> weeks, and you just fuck off. Yeah, but uh, you weren't even here when I fucked off, buddy. <laughs> Are you, but are you committed to doing this full time now? That's the plan, man. That's what I'm trying to do here. That's why I've been here every single day, so. I, I think that van looked pretty damn good without the roof off. I think that van will look really good look, without the roof. he's already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say there, man? You're just like, I'm drunk. You're like, oh, look at the. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Fuck Getting off, man. Chirped. This guy counts my drinks, he counts my pockets. I know yeah, you're salty buddy. over there about the pay. Just relax. <laughs> you know, it makes me wonder sometimes. But, I mean, if you watch me, you can learn a few things or two. What and the I, fuck am I going to learn from you, buddy? How to be consistent, man. <laughs> I am consistent. You're the one that fucking called in the past two days. Apologize, exactly. too. Exactly. So, fucking beat it. <laughs> fucking. fucking, anyways, you fucking, we're going back to the story. What story? The liquor store. Oh, fuck. After the last podcast, it was a pretty good story. It was a good time. So well, tell it. All right. So <laughs> fuck, man. So <laughs> so I leave after the last podcast. Make it clear I didn't get arrested like this fucking idiot did last time. And so whatever, stop at a liquor store. Fucking go grab some more shit for the way home. I'm walking towards the liquor store doors. Some guy's backing his car up, and he looks at me, lets me go behind him. So I start going. Some fucking car comes peeling around the corner, just about fucking hit his car, and then just about ran me the fuck over. Like, like I had to jump the fuck out of the way. Cool. Goes and parks, and I'm kind of like, what the fuck? Like, stunned that that even fucking happened. Buddy in his car was fucking yelling at the guy, too. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go say something to this guy. So I start walking over to where he parked. The other buddy fucking jumped out of his car. He didn't even fucking park it. He just fucking jumped out, put it in park where it was, and fucking came right up behind me and was like, fuck yeah, like, the fuck's this idiot doing? And the guy comes out and starts walking towards the fucking liquor store as well. I was kind of like, what the fuck were you doing, buddy? Like, you almost fucking ran me the fuck over. And he was like, I can't remember exactly what he said. He was kind of like mumbling a little bit, being quiet under his breath, and said something like oh whatever like it's it's all good and this guy that was behind me fucking didn't even hesitate he fucking reaches over my shoulder and fucking punches this guy oh shit so this is how this is going <laughs> i was like stunned i was like not i was i just wanted to fucking yell at the guy say a few words right yeah and this guy and just fucking just was ready for fucking, battle yeah, man the best part about the story i think was i left the podcast and i was wearing the fucking granny slayer hoodie bro 
<laughs> so the so, last thing this guy sees as he's looking up at people fucking boot fucking him <laughs> is Granny Slayer. That's the last song. You, last thing you saw. You were telling us earlier that you're getting fucking recognized all the time now. It's, uh, you know, I don't really know how to, like, explain that. But, you know, I don't know how to explain that, like, the feeling of that. It's different, eh? Yeah, it's different, and it, it makes me feel very good. And, you know, seeing everyone, like, making their days, and they're smiling, and they kind of, like, look at me like they kind of like me. And, <laughs> you know, what do you mean? People love you. So it's giving you more push to go forward. Yeah. Fill, a, fill that cup up a little more. When you stop stuttering... Fuck. When you stop stuttering, When you stop stuttering. Like, how, how much have you had tonight? What about? Yeah? Good thing, good thing you got a good safe ride home tonight, eh? Oh, fucking right. Puff. Yeah, Dennis is giving you a ride home on the back of the moped, buddy. I'll be clenching on for sure. So... <laughs> 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 He's gonna search deep down in this bottle. Even when cameras are off, you just fucking. Well, in better terms, they just kind of degrade me over there. What's degrading me gonna do for the customer? You drive a fucking moped, buddy. Does it always come down to what I drive? Well, no, but lately, kinda. Personal insults, fucking what I drive. Let's talk about what we're planning on fucking doing here. With the van. the van. With the candy van, man. Yeah, Fucking fuck. rates. We're Shit. cutting the fucking roof off of it. That has to happen. This is the brand, buddy. So we cut the roof off of it, and I, th I think this idea has been floated, and I think it's a fucking good idea is we cut the roof off of it, we go take it for a drive, and we see how long it takes for us to get pulled over. Fucking let's do it. We'll, we'll all pile in it one day. I'll fucking, I won't be drinking, so I'll drive the van. I think we need some seats, though. Yeah, well, I, that's that's what we were discussing is basically, you know, maybe getting a bench seat or fucking something right. and fucking, you know, lag bolting the bench yeah, seat man. down and then fucking boom, boys got the seats. I'm down. That's you know? till we get pulled over and then we get to hassle the cops a bit. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. fucking. It, I think that'll be a good one for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll try to take us down. Fucking right, <laughs> buddy. We're going to go from fucking, we'll go downtown. Go around fucking Stanley Park. Fucking One day, you know, first day, buddy. First day. First day? Hours. Probably a couple hours. I don't, I don't think it'll what's take long. What's your, what's your like, guess? Like what's the exact? Three, four hours max. No, bring it down to the minute, buddy. Like, how many hours, how many minutes? Because we're all going to do a little poll here. Like, the first, we're going to leave here, and we're going to go straight downtown. We're going to drive downtown. Well, if that's the route, I'm going to say probably... Two hours. That's it. Literally two hours. Two hours? Or less, yeah. So 120 minutes? Yeah. I think six six hours. We're going to need to have somebody on standby to fucking come pick our asses up when we get that fucking thing VI'd. And you want to have a sip of whiskey, buddy? Absolutely. Go it on. is what it is, man. I don't know. Well, I think you need to tell a story. There is uh, this girl. Oh, yeah. She was uh, 40... <laughs> She was uh, 41, so I didn't quite meet the granny standards yet. She was 41. Right, right. Ended up going home with her. We're in the bedroom. And she's uh, we're like starting stuff. Spare room? Do you want to come see it? And kind of explained it as like a red room. Yeah, it was definitely a fucking red room, buddy. It was. She had a table laid out of fucking whips and toys and the whole nine that you could think of. Anything you could think of, it was on that fucking table. And like I was how were you like, feeling? Honestly, <laughs> I was hammered, and I was kind of like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck's going on? As long as she ain't using none of this on me, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so it turned out that she was the one that wanted to be all, everything used on, which was good, because I didn't want to be fucking whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, she was like, take your pick of things and meet me in the other bedroom. So that's exactly what I did. So I, 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 I used it well on her, I would say. And um, the best part about the story, though, is the next morning. I wake up the next morning, and I'm at this house. I wake up, and I'm like, where the fuck am I? Because yeah. I was fucking hammered that night, man. I have no idea where I was. And I was like, shit. And I'm looking around for my clothes. 
can't find my clothes anywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm butt-ass naked. Where's my fucking clothes? And here's the thing, though. I don't even sleep naked in my own house, let alone somebody else's house. Find the only robe that's in the room and throw it on. And <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it was fucked. You made yourself at home. Yeah, yeah. So I throw on the robe and I can smell some food cooking downstairs. So I'm like, perfect. <laughs> so, oh, man. I walk downstairs. I asked the girl in the middle of her cooking breakfast, which was nice, because, like, fucking right, let's get some food in me, too. I'm hungover, you know? <laughs> I'm sure everyone else knows that fucking feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. good bacon and some eggs. Some good bacon and, and eggs in the morning, buddy. Fucking, fucking, fucking rights, right, buddy. man. Where's, where's my clothes? <laughs> she was like, well, they looked a little dirty, so I threw them in the wash. <laughs> so now I'm stuck there, waiting for my clothes to get washed and dried in the fucking washing machine for, like, an hour. I'm like... <laughs> Fuck. Well, when, when you wanted to eat and dip, probably. I wanted. I didn't even want to eat, dude. I wanted to leave, <laughs> man. I, I didn't know where I was. I wanted to go home. So you got any plans in the future to slay some grannies or what? You know, I'm just I'm just a slayer over here, you know. <laughs> just can't be tied down. You know what? I'm going to be honest. The more drunker I get, <laughs> yeah. the better I'm starting to like this guy, actually. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll be honest here. I'll be honest here, man. Fucking right. Fuck. The drunker I get, the more I like you, buddy. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll like actually you too, cheers man. yet. You could just do better of, uh, you know, the communication, you know, on your part, your end. Well, it's not like you haven't hassled me, too. Come, goes both ways, buddy. Just like a ridgeline tailgate, buddy. Is that a video that sticks with you there, Robert? That was a good one. Yeah. That was a good video. Out of all the videos that you've done... You know, you've Definitely done a few not now. the Bronco, not the fucking no, Bronco. No, well, not the Bronco, but like, what? What's your favorite? Honestly, man, I fucking love the Ridgeline one, man. Yeah, was that, that guy one? was fucked, and it was fucking hilarious. Cause like, honestly, I wasn't the one that said it, but Pathfinder, I was thinking it, but Pathfinder guy fucking said it, and fucking that fucking Ridgeline buddy, like, come on, he's like my truck, my truck, it's a fucking truck, man. It's a fucking Honda Ridgeline, bro. Like, what are you fucking going off about? But the Jetta video. Jetta was good, too. We had a lot of good time. That's my favorite video. What's like, with all these weirdos trying to buy this it's stuff? It's Craigslist, man. Like, that's, like the, that's like the same thing as trying to buy vehicles. Half the people we go and try to buy vehicles off is like... But it makes sense, because it's off of Craigslist. Who the cheap. fuck uses like, Craigslist know? anymore? Weirdos, clearly. Well, yeah. Like, but it makes for good fucking entertaining content. Yeah, fucking exactly. Fucking all the people, because so, like, you never know who you're going to meet. It's Sometimes, perfect. fuck, like, we go pick up a Bronco out and fucking chill a whack off this fucking old couple. Fucking, they were chill as fuck. Oh, man, we've met a lot of people off the Craigslist. Just yeah, the man. different amount of people that you meet. Just fuck buying and selling vehicles. It's and we're, we're always trying to mix it up. So like you know, know, even even people messaging us to come to look at it, we'll fucking if they seem generic and they seem like you know just run of the mill people, we we don't even let them come look at it. We try to get the oddballs. We try Honestly, to get the weirdos because that's that's what makes the entertainment. Even the newest one, the fucking the fucking van, dude. That the guy, van. man. That guy might have been on something. But he was fucking buddy. It was hilarious. It roasting the tires and yeah, fucking man, fucking fuck. around like future videos. future videos. What we're gonna do with it? It'll yeah. be good. It's yeah. gonna be It'll fucking be worth good, it, boys. Man. Fucking right. Like, I'm I'm looking forward to fucking staying sober and fucking watching you guys get drunk and fucking we're gonna go drive around in this thing. And, Maybe I'll drink you know, another bottle of whiskey in that uh, van there. Yeah. Fuck. As long as the cops don't see it, oh, we're good, no. buddy. Hey, as long you as know? the cop, I'll, <laughs> I I'll offer the cop a swig. Like if you guys want to fucking take one for the team for the video, fucking right, boys. Yeah, Dennis, you've been arrested again, so. Just the time yeah. lapse of how long it's going to take for oh, us yeah. to get pulled over. Two hours like, max, man. And, like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, the minute we go downtown, we're getting fucked. I think like four, four to sure. six, four to six. I don't think we're driving know. around for that long. If if we have a bench seat in the back of that thing, like screwed down to the floor, and you guys have somewhat of lap belts or something, yeah. Like, I I don't know, man. Like, and we, the, the other thing is we gotta keep somehow keep the rear tail lights, so we have all our lights. Yeah. We have everything, yeah. the safety wise. Well, that won't be hard to do. I don't think so. Okay. Even even if we gotta put some lights on the bumper, like fuck. Like, what's so that going to take? So all a curve. Yeah. We're good. Like, fuck, I, I think yeah. that's not a problem at all. 
I think we do that and we fucking drive around and fucking, you know what? Test our luck. Like, why not? Yeah, yeah man. I'm, I'm feeling pretty lucky. You know, we've talked about, like, you know, all the customers and stuff. Like, I just forget to mention, like, like the genius behind the camera. He's always bringing all these crazy fucking people to us. <laughs> yeah, I just well, wanted to mention that. Yeah, no, for sure. Half of the screening process, this is my brother. So. Well, honestly, half of Backyard Bronco, more than half of Backyard Broncos, right. it goes all out to Jordan. He, he's the man. Behind he's the, the man of the game. He, he's he, the one that makes all this happen. Hundred percent. Like, and not a lot of credit goes out to him, but it should. Cause, oh yeah. 100%. But he's a fucking beauty, and <laughs> he needs to get recognized a little more. He's a little scared <laughs> to get behind the camera, but uh, that's okay. Not Whatever. scared. He, he's busy, yeah. man. If it wasn't for him, none of this would be happening. So honestly, I feel like you guys agree. Fucking all the viewers are loving us, or, well, more of them than me, but, He's man. the one up fucking 4 a.m. Exactly. editing every night. He sends me these fucking... Oh, yeah, he's still awake, man. Unlisted videos yeah. at, like, yeah. 4 in the morning fucking, yeah. hey, check this out when you got some time. <laughs> like, like, this is no, the next he, video. He, he's like, the fucking yeah. face oh, behind it's, everything. It's good, It's pretty man. unreal, all the work that goes into this shit. Oh, yeah. I feel like the followers will fucking agree, because... Oh, 100%. It's fucking man behind the game. But now that I'm uh, looking at it, I think, uh, Dennis, you want some whiskey? I got an extra cup there full of ice. You want some whiskey? I mean, this whole podcast, I don't know. I just feel kind of good, so I might as well. Yeah, you uh, want a cup of whiskey, <laughs> buddy? <laughs> oh, Dennis, get right, on buddy. the whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's your cup. We're going to have to tie you down in your house or what? <laughs> Where's your stories at, man? Like, <laughs> I'm sure you got a couple good stories. Oh, I got a few good stories. We're up the lake. Fucking, I, I put this truck together. Fucking, it was an extended cab. It was like a 93 or 94 extended cab. Eight foot box Ford. Fucking put put a fucking beautiful motor back into it. Yeah. Like fucking like a seven thousand dollar motor. Okay. Fucking we're chilling up at the lake. Fucking I was I was fucking loaded. Fucking the guy I was with, he was he was pretty drunk. And fucking he was like he was twice my age, so he's fucking he was like an older generation kind of guy and I got my whole eight foot box just fucking over full of what fucking wood and this truck took a beating so i'm talking it's missing a headlight the fucking there's no plates on it <laughs> fucking exhaust dragging on the ground fucking fucking cab full of fucking wood so fucking, this it's was just, so how, how was this truck already up there or did oh, you yeah, like fucking, bring it up there i brought it up there okay it went okay. home on a trailer i yeah, never yeah. drove it again after this yeah it went to this fucking <laughs> scrap yard but oh, like, yeah? All right. yeah yeah so that's where the story goes so anyway right. fucking <laughs> So basically, I fucking, we're on our way back in conservation. They fucking, oh, fuck. They're pulling up to me. And my buddy's like, dude, they got cherries on the top of their truck. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know, hide the beer. And <laughs> fucking, and, you know, I pull up real slow <laughs> next to them. And they're pulling it like we're, we're driving against each other. And they pull up to me. And I look over. And there's this fucking, you know. Fucking hag looking bitch as a conservation <laughs> officer and fucking oh, fuck. and I look over at her and she looks over at me and she flicks the cherries on. And I'm like, oh fuck. What 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 is this gonna mean? And yeah. and fucking so I look over at my buddy and I'm like, dude, I'm not stopping. Dropped a fucking gear into second and fucking just took off. Fucking <laughs> ran all the way into the be second beach there and fucking I, the I went, truck. <laughs> oh, dude, I went down into this fucking ditch and fuck it. It was great because, like, I lost my bumper the night before and I found my bumper, but it was on top of all the wood. So when I went down into the fucking, you know, mud hole and fucking lost a bunch of wood in my bumper, all, all I seen in my rear rear mirror was, or side mirror was fucking literally all my buddies fucking throwing my bumper into the bushes because he's seen the cherries coming <laughs> after me. So I fucking drove my truck into some blackberry bushes and fucking got the fuck out. My buddy got the fuck out and he, he went to the fucking fire and 
fucking I just took off. I was like, fuck this shit. Like, you know, I, I went and hid in a forerunner for a little while. And then I was like, dude, this isn't far enough away from the fucking cops. So I fucking <laughs> took off. So I fucking booked it down the flats. And I found this <laughs> two moms. They had like fucking like seven kids. Oh. And they were struggling to start a fire. So I fucking literally went up there and fucking got a fire going for them and fucking, you know, started roasting marshmallows and is hot there, dogs uh, for the kids right. and shit like that. Is there any story behind the moms or what? No. They were pretty cool stay moms, though. Because, yeah. like, they asked me. They were like, what, like, you came over here in a hurry. What are you running from? And I'm like, the cops. <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at me and they are like, Oh, don't worry. Like, we're cool stay moms. Like, you can be the husband and fucking these are your kids. Like, if the <laughs> cops come over, you're fucking good. Like, fucking right, we got bro. your back. Like, I feel like I feel like everyone that goes to stave, you start talking to people, you chat with people. Everyone there becomes almost one big fucking family at the end of the day. Like, Everybody you go there. Exactly. So you go like, there and you meet so many fucking people, so man. Fucking, so apparently the cops came or the conservation came. And they fucking took my VIN down. They took fucking my plate number down. They fucking knew who I was. And I'm just over oh. there, like, across the flats, you know, cooking hot dogs for kids. And fucking, I, my, uh, my other buddy fucking came. And I'm, I'm out taking a piss. And fucking all I hear is, Phil! Phil! Fucking, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, dude, they're 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 gone, man. But I wouldn't suggest driving your truck for the rest of the weekend. And I'm like, yeah, probably not a good idea. So it fucking it sat out in the middle of the flats for the weekend, and then fucking I trailered it home, and then I pulled the motor and scrapped the truck. Oh, there you go. How much <laughs> motor is this? It's 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 fucking the one that was in my original Bronco. Oh yeah. Still got it. Not bad. Still kicking. What are we going to do when we get caught? I'm yeah, like, fuck, I'm not getting caught. We ain't like, getting <laughs> caught. <laughs> you fucking right, man. I've, I've seen a lot of comments saying, oh, how many D- DUIs Phil has over there? And I got fucking zero, buddy. You've never had a DUI. Wow. Never had a DUI. Wow. Yeah, I'm not saying I haven't had fucking two dozen close calls, mm. but I've never had a DUI. Mm. I fucking, close I was coming calls. back from the lake one time fucking by myself. I stayed up there because I was drinking, having a good time. Stayed up there. Yeah. Fucking everybody else left. And fucking I was hanging out with some people. And then fucking I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take off now. It's fucking dark. It's pissing rain. Just before the Pitt River Bridge, I fucking blow my drive shaft. Fucking right in the oh. left lane. So I'm over the limit. And fucking literally, it's like my hazards didn't even fucking work. And I, I tried to put on my hazards. They work for, like, two seconds, and then they oh, cut out. I'm fucking, like, 200 feet behind my truck waving at people so they don't yeah. fucking rear end <laughs> yeah. me. And, and this guy stops, and he's like, dude, like, my phone was dead. I had always had piece of shit phones, so my phone was dead. I didn't know what to do. And fucking this guy was like, dude, he, he ended up calling the cops, but he told me. He's like, dude, I didn't even think about it. You're in a lifted truck and shit. Like, fucking, I just called the cops, man. Like, oh. I'm sorry. I didn't even think of it. Like, if you got anything to hide or you got fucking some shit to fucking sober up, fucking do it now. Because <laughs> the cops are on their way. Oh, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Well, thanks for giving me the heads up, but like. But like, what the fuck would you call the cops? So, man? no, the cops came. Real chill. Fucking, yeah, and I like, talked my way out of it. Like, they didn't even know what was up. I see, like, the guy made a wrong move. You're trying to say, Robert. Yeah, like, exactly. Calling the cops. Yeah, well, like, why fuck, would he? Man, uh, what do you do? I'm like, stuck in the middle of the road. I didn't have any yeah. fucking way to get out. So, of course, they're going to call the fucking cops. The same thing when I fucking totaled my truck. Same thing. Probably a couple <laughs> beers over the fucking <laughs> limit. Like, fuck off, man. I'm drunk or <laughs> angry laughing. Fuck. This is settling me in here. Yeah, buddy, man. buddy, getting so, to speak over here. Yeah, I'm fucking trying, man. But the way it went was I was just driving a little too quick, and the and corner... tree popped out of nowhere. Tree jumped out right at me, man. <laughs> and fucking I went right and head on with a tree and totaled brand new fucking truck. I was pissed because that was, that was the truck that I wanted to keep, and I've had tons of trucks and this was the one that i finally wanted to keep and fucking build up and you know make fucking damn good shit like this is the final <laughs> truck that i wanted to have and like build it and make it fucking mint but no fucking had to fuck that shit up so 
Well, you got another one now, though. Well, yeah, I got another one now, and now I got to restart the whole build. So it's like I got new ideas for the new build and whatever, but it was a shit show with that truck, man. Fuck. <laughs> and now oh. I'm still fighting to get some of my parts back at least. Oh, Maybe yeah. something back at least. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, but that's the struggle, buddy. You buddy, fucking shit, wreck happens, good shit man. Fucking trees. Fucking... Yeah, Jeez, man. Yeah. Those things fucking jump out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> They fucking. Well, when you're going fucking. Nowhere, huh? Yeah, when you're going fucking fast. Yeah, man. They yeah, do. Just, it fucking. starts to. Everything starts to jump out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I wasn't drinking whiskey that night. But, oh. you know, you're on a buck 20 down a fucking back road. Those trees love to jump Holy out at you. Fuck. Oh, yeah, buddy. It was a shit show. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised I fucking stayed alive through that. I, uh, I don't wear my seatbelt a lot. Like, at all. You were wearing it that day, I bet. No, the buddy that I had in the passenger seat put his on about 30 seconds before. Oh. And I looked at him, and I was like, maybe I should probably throw mine on, too. Threw it on. Ten seconds after I threw my seatbelt on, we fucking went head on with the tree. But the, he, <laughs> what, here's what, the thing. It, well, there's what you're fucked up. I bet you putting on the seatbelt made you crash. I yeah. think so, too. <laughs> But yeah. here's the thing, too, though, is, like... <laughs> I think you got some more whiskey there, buddy. Yeah, man. Fuck, I know. You and Dennis there. Do you want some more fucking whiskey or not? Slam that one, buddy. Yeah, you do. Yeah. One okay, more. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll get some more whiskey. All right, you got the yeah, fucking one more, bottle. buddy. How about we just fucking, me and you, we just fucking destroy that shit? Fucking right. Let's go. Uh, all right. I agree, man. You fucking, you have some, I'll have some. We'll fucking figure it out, buddy. Let's just take a swig. Let it press your lips and then, or actually take a sip like I did. Telling you this, this stuff does something to me. Brings out some other soul I don't know. I was also already a 15 case deep and now I'm fucking polishing off a bottle of fucking whiskey. So you're going to be walking out of here in all fours. Nah, buddy. I ain't a pussy, buddy. (laughs) All right, Mr. Chillin. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm fucking, I'm fine. Man. Yeah, we know why you're fine. Come on, take my a little, turn, boys. little tiny one. Fucking right. There you go. Look at you oh, go. Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got the whiskey. Why does it ain't that bad, man? That's my go-to. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. I feel like this whole podcast. The fuck you telling has... me hold on for, hold buddy? On. No, no, hold no. Hold on there. I was in the middle of fucking talking, buddy. You'll like what I'm going to say. Will I? I feel like this whole podcast, oh, I just feel like, you know, you're you're in that mentality. I feel like we should fucking put a hot tub in it, man. Make it like the truck. You throw the tarp in there, fucking hot tub. There's a fucking podcast for the whiskey fucking bullshit that everyone <laughs> wanted to fucking see. Just, just, like, just yeah, walk- I'm fucked up. Cool. You like it? <laughs> Sick. Like, fuck. Let's go buy that shit because look at it. Straighten that shit out a little bit for the people. Look at that. How can you all buy that? Fuck. It's awesome. Buy that shit. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Drunk Robert fucking solo shit, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Look at it. Might be even better than your OnlyFans. Who knows? <laughs> hey, buddy. You Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, I, I would not everybody like to know. Knows. Well, hey, buddy. It ain't no granny. You won't like it. It's not no granny shit. Have another sip. I'm, yeah, man, I'm fucking hammered. Okay, fucking beat it. All you gotta do is just keep sipping, sipping. You too. I'm, I yeah, just I took a sip. Dennis, That's... I literally gave you a fucking drink my out of my heart fuck. here. Okay? I like fucking got this bottle and fucking I had drank it all and now I'm like being respectful and mm, trying to I give you alone, some fucking drinks, buddy. I was alone. So why don't you say fucking thanks to you? I don't need to say thank you. Why? <laughs> For the fucking, you didn't. I'm the one do that offered you the fucking. I did. I, I'm the one that offered you the fucking drink, though. Yeah, but you you're, trying to, you're trying you. to make it in something else here. Me say thanks because I offered <laughs> you a couple <laughs> I drinks. Did. <laughs> yeah, what are you fucking speaking with? I'm gonna finish. Why don't, why don't you just take a little sippy poo? <sighs> you take a little more sippy poo. Robert takes one. Can you take no, I'll take gone. one. I ain't yeah. taking no, no shot. No, it's not gone. Yeah, it's then I'm fucking gone. 
<laughs> well, fuck. I ain't digging the shot. Have some to go gone. And my brother will sit outside for 10 minutes to make sure you fucking stay inside. All right. That's his. <laughs> oh, that's his. That's his. I don't even get any. Alright. Thanks. Whew. <laughs> oh, <great>. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to make up with our sh bullshit and fucking be respectful to you. Yeah, so, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fucking men's here. I'm not saying no this, no that, and no that. Alright. I think so too. That's what I'm trying to fucking do, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Not, a, not another whiskey night for Dennis, eh? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> There's no more whiskey in the bottle. No, the bottle's gone. Well, I want more. <laughs> well, it's gone. Well, what the fuck, man? You're a good guy. You're a good fun guy on whiskey. I gave you what? Two drinks? Two drinks, yeah. Yeah, and you had what? Two shots? I had a couple shots, yeah. I feel like I should have fucking had a few more. But you know what, buddy? No. Hey. I actually like you, I think. Thank you. I thank think. You, thank you. I do too. Yeah? Yeah, you guys, you guys gonna be able to settle yeah. up or what? I think we'll be able to fucking make amends. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Takes yeah. a drunken night to do that, eh? Cheers. Cheers. Fucking rights, buddy. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers. Well, Cheers. fucking rights, boys. This has been episode fucking, fucking 13 of the shit show. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, back your Broncos, motherfucker. <laughs>